oh, my God, halftime, Tennessee, Alabama. And uh, don't look now. But Tennessee only trails by seven at halftime. And, in fact, Tennessee won the first quarter of this game. They were up 14-7 to into the first quarter. Bama scored a couple of touchdowns in the second quarter. 21-14 to your score at halftime. The Voltards uh, uh, trail by touchdown uh, to, to, uh, to Alabama. They got to clean the penalties up. I think Tennessee's got about eight penalties, I, I think, in the first half, four, at least four false starts. You want to win one of these games when you're a big underdog. You can't commit penalties. You got to get, uh, uh, hopefully, the other team commits some turnovers. Alabama already has the one turnover. Maybe you get a special teams touchdown some kind of way. We'll see what Tennessee can do in the second half. Now, <coughs> of course, uh, Tennessee fans are hoping for the upset here, uh, but it's not likely. What in the hell? Somebody just somebody just threw a damn mustard bottle at me. That's just wrong. Let's put that over. Let's put this over here where it belongs. Uh, I don't know what's going on with the peanut gallery. I just got hit with a mustard bottle though. Uh, Tennessee wants to upset Alabama. Of course, not likely to happen. Uh, the only thing, uh, the only thing, the only thing the Tennessee balls are likely to upset tonight is their fans. Uh, but that's something that they're accustomed to and used to by now. They get upset on a regular basis. Uh, Ohio State and Indiana. Ohio State up big. On Indiana, what is this, 23-7, to seven, still nine minutes to go in the second quarter. Uh, Miami up over NC State. How about that? Um, I didn't see that coming. I thought NC State handled Miami. Miami playing pretty good at home today. Well, not at home. Miami doesn't have a home stadium. Uh, they travel to every game, including their home games. No on-campus stadium. They have to lease um, one of the smallest NFL stadiums ever built and one of the most ridiculous, too, uh, the Miami Dolphins. What else? South Carolina getting humiliated by Texas A&M. Everybody saw that coming from a mile away, didn't they? Yeah, you should have. If you didn't see that coming, I'm not sure what's wrong with you. Anyway, it's been another weird day of college football, hasn't it? Man, some of these top ten teams, feels like we hardly knew you. Uh, Penn State, man, hard to imagine Penn State sticking around in the, pop, in the top ten after today, isn't it? Yeah, it is. What about Oklahoma State? No longer undefeated. Uh, of course, you can't win in it. You can't win at Iowa State. Uh, someone told me that one time. Turns out they were right, at least in terms of today. Oklahoma State turning into the Oklahoma State we all knew they were. Michigan, on the other hand, looked pretty good again today. Cincinnati struggled. <sighs> what do you think is going to happen in the second half of this Tennessee Alabama game? Now it would be hilarious. I'm not going to lie. Absolutely hilarious if somehow Tennessee found a way to beat Alabama for a lot of reasons. One reason, if for some reason, Tennessee were to do the unthinkable and find a way to beat Alabama in Tuscaloosa, it would make the next two weeks of my life amazing because Tennessee, we play Tennessee in three weeks. Uh, we play Florida next week, then we play Mizzou, and then we play Tennessee. Tennessee would spend the next two or three weeks telling me they're going to beat us because they beat Alabama, which would make it so much sweeter when we go up to uh, uh, Sanford Stadium North, located in Knoxville, uh, and absolutely... Uh, beat the life and will to live out of Tennessee, which we are going to do. But if they somehow beat Alabama, they'll be all over the internet with the, uh, you know, so we're saying we have a chance that kind of, they think they can win. Of course, they can't win, can't beat Georgia. Beating Alabama and beating Georgia, <laughs> that's two totally different things. Two totally different things. I don't even know what uh, level of poverty it is <clears throat> to be trailing 14 to 7 at Tennessee and only up 21 to 14 uh, at halftime. But, uh, you know, Alabama does. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Maybe they need government housing. Get out there. You know what Alabama needs? A voucher. Alabama needs a housing voucher. Uh, is that enough? I don't know. Your season is over. Video will be out tomorrow. Maybe another reaction video later tonight. We'll see what happens. Uh, 14 to 10, NC State has scored now. So cut the lead there. Miami was up 14 to 3. Uh, you can see now NC State just scored. So 14 to 10. We'll see how the rest of that one goes, though. I don't know. Anyway. <sighs> Dumbasses. A mustard bottle. Oh, what if one other thing that I'll let you go. Uh, uh, if Tennessee wins this game against Alabama, and, and look, Tennessee's not going to win. Uh, like I said, it would be funny because then Tennessee fans would think they're going to beat Georgia in three weeks if Georgia's not happen. But the other thing about that would be so funny would be Alabama fans running around for the next two weeks trying to convince everybody that Tennessee is good. Remember when they lost to AM and they spent a week after that trying to tell everybody Texas AM was good? <laughs> Alabama fans, man. Special breed of stupid. <laughs>